So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. Yet she will find it. And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. <laughs> he is full of tricks, that one. I believe he has a deeper strategy. Raji must be careful, but she must also be swift. distance. That is the gate. I'm sure of it. I need not have worried. These mystics know what they're about. Indeed. There they lie. The gates to Dev Bhumi. This is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? One last blessing, my child, before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain, and you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin, and grant might to your limbs. And know that I am proud, for your heart is already as strong as can be. a gift of most celestial power. Mahabalasura is no weakling. Let us hope it will be enough.
Thank you, Lord Vishnu. She wields the chakra as one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will destroy you. Finally, Raji faced Mahabalasura and he revealed the extent of his power. She must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him. Sit. 
You have tasted my power. You know I can hurt you. Her enemy had copied himself. Mahabalasura was on every side. Raji could not see the truth, that this was just a diversion. <laughs> Mahabalasura had escaped Raji and stood at the gates, reciting the mantra. But why? And then, another voice took up the chant. Golu. It was too late. Although Raji still fought, the gates to the Dev Heavens now stood open. Mahabalasura's design had come to pass. And Golu had been the key. Now what horror would be unleashed on the world?